What was the question? Why oh, Columbia. why Columbia? Okay. <laughs> uh, let's start We got over. distracted by food. Um, we love food. <laughs> So I'm here to tour a property that I'm going to be... Let me start over. So we're here touring a property that I'm going to be... Oh, no, let me start over again. Let me. I'm going to be meeting with the sellers next week. I just wanted to take it out. Take, check it out. <laughs> so I'm here to tour a property that I'm, I'm... Oh, my God. So we have been in Chapin a lot today. And we're here at a property that I'm going to... We're just going to take a look at the... Uh, not that, uh, so we have been in Chapin a lot today, and we're here at a property I'm gonna be listing next week. I just want you to see the view out back. Let's take a look. So I thought a lot of, well, let me start over. <laughs> So a lot of people have been saying that I need to, to get my family on the vlog. So I thought today we get together, have some lunch. This is my wife, Alice, at one of our favorite spots, Fire and Spice in Irmo. The food is too good. So if you haven't been here, you've got to check it out. We thought we'd hang out, eat. We've got a couple of questions that we're going to get thrown at us, I guess. And we're going to kind of see where it goes from there. And I'm probably going to eat all of this. Okay. <laughs> And one more of those. Okay. So what questions do we have? How did you meet We actually met in Chicago. He was living in the city, I was living in the city, and we had a bunch of mutual friends. And so one night we kind of just ended up hanging out together. And that's kind of <laughs> how it yep. went. Yeah. Huh. Tell us a little bit about your family. Mm. It's good chicken. So we have three kids, Hannah, Weston, and Lorelai. Hannah's the youngest, turning four on St. Patrick's Day. Weston's in the middle, six, and Lorelai is eight. They're great kids, we got really lucky. They're good. Yeah. They go to East Point, two of them. Hannah goes to McGregor Presbyterian Preschool right now, which is cool because I went there when I was a kid. They had all these red little bicycles in the gym, and that's one of the my favorite memories from when I was a kid <laughs> is playing and riding on those bikes, and now our daughter is doing the same, which is cool. She doesn't seem to like it as much as I did. Oh, they don't have the bikes anymore. They don't have like a bunch of bikes anymore. Okay, well, yeah. it's like more too like bad. That's one of my kitchen. best childhood moments. They <laughs> took it away. And then our family. So my family lives in Lexington. We have some scattered around, but my parents are in Lexington. So we wanted to be close, close to them for the grandkids. And then Alice, your family. So my family um, are mostly in Asia. And so they live in Taiwan. And that's why we go there once a year. Your kids have been featured in several real estate videos. I was just curious, how exactly that came to me? And that's been a lot of fun. I mean, my ultimate goal now that we've done it a few times is to have a real estate video with the kids at least once or twice a year so they can go back and look how I use them to sell houses. But they also, they really do enjoy it. So I had a listing in Lexington. I thought, you know, the videos are great, but let's make it interesting. So the very first video, you would see the house through the kids playing hide and go seek. One of my favorite videos, so my kids are on the front porch and then they go through the house, sure, have some collard greens. I'm gonna take one of these. And we've done a few. We just did a Christmas uh, feature video where it was like Home Alone that they had a lot of fun. We pulled uh, scenes from the movie. But then we had another one where it was, the theme was we love this house. And it really showed off the neighborhood and the house. That was cool. Easter, we've with done one. Hannah. Yeah, with Hannah where she was Easter egg hunting. And they are always asking when they can do their next video. And I actually have a list of video ideas just waiting on the right house and for them to be out of school to do it. But uh, definitely fun, definitely going to continue to do it. Obviously, by now, we all know about Patrick's work. Well, I've been in global procurement for 15 years. Make people's ideas, take their concepts and make it a reality. And then I also streamline businesses that are... What is it like? Thank you. We do a really good job supporting each other's businesses. We're both very determined and focused in our work. It's always a part of our lives and it's constant, but we're able to not let it impact our lives and what we enjoy, family time, spending time with family, and I think that's all it takes. You know, we, we try to have family dinners every single night. We go on dates with each other, and that's mm -hmm. important, um, because at the end of the day, we still need to like each other, yep. hopefully. I know you travel a lot. Tell us a little bit about that and your recent trip. 
So we actually, we just had a great trip, four countries in three and a half weeks over Christmas and New Year's. And our goal is to give our kids the experience of traveling the world. I didn't really get to travel until I met Alice. I mean, I had been out of the country a little bit, but it wasn't until I met Alice that I got opened up to all these different places, and especially Asia. And now I'm in love with Asia. Um, to where I know when we retire, we're going to spend a lot of time there. And I'm I think the goal is to make sure our kids are cultured and they understand that there are other types of people out there and other cultures and foods and stuff. Jordan Blackwell asks, how do you best maintain schedules between work and social life? So, uh, we're also big on calendars. Like, if it's not in the calendar, it's not happening. It doesn't exist to it us It doesn't at all. exist, yeah. But it's, you know, having a schedule and keeping in routines and our kids are really great with their routines. And sometimes it's hard to like even schedule a lunch between us. <laughs> like I had to wait three months to get a lunch. This wasn't three, this was two months. <laughs> was it two months? Three months. Well, maybe it was three months. Thank you, Jordan. Did Jordan have any more questions? Hey, Jordan. <laughs> what is the biggest misconception that people have when they become a realtor or want to get into those? So I get this question a lot, especially now launching a team in January. Real estate is very time consuming. It takes a lot of energy and effort. If you're looking for something to set your own schedule and have flexibility, that's just not this job. I'd say the, that's the biggest misconception because I know this is, you know, this is a second career for me. I was uh, an orchestra director, an educator for 10 years. I worked hard then, but I've never worked as hard as I work now. And the hardest thing is finding the people to work with. So that's a lot of why I do this. And then through my marketing, with how I do on my marketing, how I market properties, through my video work, it's it, it's just, it's a lot of time, it's a lot of energy, but you know, I, I do things to maximize my time, like having a support staff that we all have responsibilities, having a team calendar we all follow. I don't know if I answered the question, but if you're thinking about being a real estate agent, I'd love to talk to you. Did I answer the question? Kinda? Okay. What is the most common obstacle you run into? I think for me, a lot of times it is about getting the business owner to kind of trust in the vision that I'm giving them. And so a lot of times with small businesses and entrepreneurs, they don't want to let their baby go because they've been the only one standing behind it the whole way, pushing it uphill. A lot of it is just, you know, getting the business owner's buy-in. That's good. Thanks. What one quality do you need to be successful in sales? I don't want to be cliche, cliche, cliche. Cliche. The biggest thing really is to, to take care of people, to keep customers first. Buying and selling real estate is, is not all the time fun for the people doing it. It's stressful, it's expensive, it takes a special approach to help them get through it in the best way possible. So I would say taking care of people is, is the best way you can be successful. There's a ton of other things, but am I eating too much? No. Okay. <laughs> Paul Wu asks, Hey Paul. <laughs> Hi, Paul. Paul and Sally, they own an amazing restaurant. It's called Palette, American Asian Fusion. It's brand new. They just opened it at the beginning of February. It's delicious, though. So it's very small, very intimate. We had the crab dip oh my God. with wonton chips. <laughs> he was oh just my. In garbage. vlog one, where I, I made the mistake of eating chips. This is and like... I love chips. <laughs> chips are my weakness. There was a flavor in those mad. Okay, we can move on. <laughs> Go. It's all. What was the question? Why oh, Columbia. why Columbia? Okay. <laughs> well, let's start. We got over. distracted by food. Um, we love food. <laughs> we were just at the Food and Wine Festival, and yeah. oh my gosh. Anyway, yeah. we got to a point. We live in Chicago. We're like yeah. this cold is awful. We wanted, you know, something different, and we were starting to have kids. We wanted to be closer to to the grandparents, and so Columbia was kind of the the best answer. We actually live in in Irmo, and we enjoy it. Now we're stuck here, right? Well, um... <laughs> I'm still eating. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> what are the biggest challenges you face in an interracial marriage? Wow, we're getting deep here. When I met Alice, all I really realized was she's beautiful. You know, you're, you're in love with a person. I don't think you see the color. I think, though, sometimes it can be hard. That's just life. But at the same time, it works for us. And our kids are cute. So... <laughs> If you could change one thing about your life, what would you change? I went for a long time prior to us moving back here and getting married. 
wanting to change something in my life, knowing that I needed something else, something different, that I wasn't where I, I needed to be. But that was kind of fixed with meeting Alice and having kids and moving here and the business. So I really don't have any complaints. Nom, 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 nom. I know, a little bit more than that. <laughs> One more bite. 